What's up guys welcome to another tutorial on Java programming language and in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how exactly we can pass some arguments to the methods that we create in our program. In the previous tutorial I have uh, taught you guys you know what exactly is a method, how to define a method in our program, how we can call a method. So in this tutorial we're gonna create a method and we're gonna pass some arguments to that method. So to demonstrate that first we're going to define a method in our program. So here in my uh, tutorials class after this main method definition I'm going to define a method. So to define a method first we need to specify the modifiers. So here we're going to have the modifiers public static. Here this public means that we can access this method from outside this class tutorials and also this static means that we don't need to create an object of this class to access this method and then after this modifiers we need to write the return value type which type of data is returned by the method so here we're gonna assume that our method is not gonna return any values so we're gonna have the void type and then we need to write the method name so here our method is gonna be for displaying a user's name many times so we're gonna pass two parameters to this method so first we're gonna define the method name and i'm gonna say display display name and then uh, we're gonna have a pair of parentheses and then a pair of curly braces now between these parentheses we're gonna pass the parameters to this display name method so here our display name method is gonna take two parameters one is a string value and another one is an integer value so to pass a parameter to a method we need to specify that here between this parenthesis so my first parameter is going to be a string value so i'm going to use the uh, data type string and then the variable name is similar to the declaration of a variable so here i'm going to say name and then if your method takes more than one parameter then you have to separate them by using the comma so here after this name i'm going to use a comma and my second parameter is going to be an integer value so i'm going to use the keyword int and then i'm going to give a name so it's going to be number so here name is a string value and this number is an integer value so here our display name method is taking two parameters one is of type string and another one is of integer type if you want to pass more parameters you guys can specify that by using the comma separator all right now here just for the demonstration purpose you know these two parameters are enough so here inside this display name method we're gonna use a for loop and we're gonna print out the name this number of times so i'm gonna use a for loop and uh, inside a for loop we're gonna need a counter variable so i'm gonna initialize a counter variable to one and we're gonna have counter less than or equal to number and then we can have counter plus plus and then we're gonna use a print line statement so it's gonna be system dot out dot print line and here we're gonna print out the name so i'm gonna refer name here now you guys can see here you know these parameters for this discipline name methods we have specified you know this name and number are gonna be the local variables for this display name method which means that we can use this variables name and number just like the way if we had any variable declaration here so this name and number are gonna be available inside this display name method so now we have defined a method in our program the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna call this method so inside my main method i'm gonna call this method so it's gonna be display name and then we're gonna have a pair of parentheses and then the semicolon so here we need to pass two arguments to this display name 
method because it is taking two parameters so the first parameter is going to be a string value and second parameter is going to be an integer value so i'm going to pass a string value here i'm going to pass anil and then i'm going to use the comma separator and then i'm going to pass the second integer value and let's say five now i'm going to save this and i'm going to run this program and you guys can see here anil is printed five times so here for this display name method we have passed two parameters one is a string value and another one is an integer value so this is how you guys can define a method and pass parameters to that method another thing that i want you guys to teach you is you know while defining the parameters for the method for example let's say here our display name method is going to take two parameters and both of them are of type integers so at that time you guys can't write int a comma b you guys can't do that if your method is taking more than one parameters and all of them or both of them are of same type then also you guys need to separate them with the comma and you have to declare them individually so you have to write int a comma int b you guys can't write int a comma b so that's the one thing that i wanted to teach you and another thing is while calling this display name method you know if you guys want to pass a variable which is of type string you guys can do that for example here i'm going to use a string variable and i'm going to call it as anil and i'm going to initialize that one right here so it's going to be anil and here instead of passing the string i can pass the string variable you know anil and also here instead of this uh, integer value we can pass a variable of uh, integer type so here i'm going to create a int variable and i'm going to call it as number and i'm going to initialize this one with a value of six and then here i can pass this number so if i run this you guys can see we'll get anil six times six times okay here you know when we pass the parameters to the method the first argument will be uh, passed to the first parameter second argument will be passed to the second parameter so similarly if you want to define a method with more parameters you guys can do that and also a method cannot take any parameters you know which i have explained in the previous tutorial where our method was not taking any parameters and the last thing is you guys can see the advantage of the methods here for example if i had to print some other name for example uh, i'm going to create another string variable and let's call it as anjali and i'm going to initialize that one with the string value anjali and then if i wanted to print this anjali then i just need to call this display name method it's going to be display name and then i can pass this uh, string variable anjali so i can type anjali here and i can pass any value for example 2 and if i run this program uh, you guys can see here you know after this anil you guys can see the anjali printed out here so this is it guys this is how you guys can define a method in your program and pass parameters to it so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have any doubt or any suggestion don't hesitate to tell us and you guys can like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and get the source code of this tutorial in my website learninglad.com and i'll see you in the next tutorial